Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice strawberry and white chocolate milkshake. Very decadent and tasty indeed. So welcome back to the game in the previous episode. More expansion when it comes to the power generation, specifically four wind solar hybrid things added. We also have another cell block, which is nice. Actually, two cell blocks. This one, however, in the middle is solely for protective custody, which we do have one occupant, Dave Young. And there you go. So overall happy with that in this episode we want to do some more modifications with the yard in fact let's just do it now we might as well just get it sorted and the whole idea is just to um move things around get them so they're in a better state do i really need to move this where it is i really don't there's no middle one two three four five six so i could put it there but yeah that's fine we're gonna move stuff around in the yard we're gonna add more stuff there and probably go for another cell block because that will get us to a decent uh well cell block c will be nearly completed uh we're on 80 percent here anyway over to here and we want to have a common room we're going to place a common room in here and in the back of that we will have under wiring yes video calling booths and one will go either side which they still look like an arcade machine to me and because of that uh, <laughs> uh can we not put an arcade uh is it not called an arcade machine i thought it was an arcade machine uh, hang on then. Hang on a second. Objects. Uh, it is an arcade tablet. I've just probably had yeah, an arcade um, cabinet. I probably just spelt it wrong when I was typing there. Okay, so uh, things are progressing nicely. In terms of staff, we've got four janitors and two doctors, six cooks. I'm going to increase our doctors by one and cooks we're going to go with another four simply because we've done a couple of things. Firstly, we've upped the amount of ingredients that we have in here so that means well more work more cooking etc we may also need to add in some more fridges because well they're bringing in some stuff but i don't know if they're just going to store it where it is there we could put some fridges on the other side like that that would that would actually work let's put some fridges there i assume perhaps wrongly that we have enough cookers for the size of the facility but let's just see what happens here so naturally we've got a couple of things being added into this common room the yard stuff's been moved around and the chief is now calling just discover that one of the teachers we bring in has been okay that's that's a third time that we've seen contraband being smuggled into the facility if i may be so bold who is doing the background checks on these teachers? Or rather, who is not doing the background checks on these teachers? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, there's uh, a tire wall requested in this place, and bleachers would be nice as well. The problem is that the bleachers just look stupid because of the size. It means you could probably get to the top and jump over the wall, and... Well, we don't really want that, but we will put in things like some... Oh, look at that, the dumbbells racks we can, we can actually place in as well. Um... Yeah, we're going to put in some dumbbell racks. I'm just going to put a couple of dumbbell racks either side. We've got a punching bag and we've got a tyre stack. I mean, I don't like the idea of the tyre apparatus there, but well, it's going to be put in. And we could we could potentially put a running track in. And it just says it needs to be placed. And we, could we put just a running track down the bottom like that? Let's see. Let's see if that actually does anything. Anyway, so the cracking on with that, we have prisoners working in here. Let's just have a quick run through in terms of our where is it logistics and prison labour. Ten jobs, uh, that's all set up. We got five jobs in here. We got five jobs in here. We haven't got people working in the kitchen, and I mean, do we? Qualified prisoners are five. The problem is that if they go in here, they work, and then they come out. Oh, they always have to go through the metal detector because that's set to visitor only. See, I'm trying to get the work experience up. Let's do it. So it is staff only. This could potentially be a problem. And I think we are going to put a guard there. Now, I know... There'll be the comments saying, yeah, use the scheduler to set this up. Yep, you're probably right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing it because half the time I mess it up and get it wrong. I, I, I am more than happy just hiring a couple more guards. <laughs> there we go. 
we need to hire more guards anyway because of the amount of uh, the amount of people we have. We've got three armed guards. I'm going to go with a fourth and I don't think I need a fifth one. We've got six dog handlers. We're going to get another couple more just because, yeah, we just don't have enough for the type of work that we uh, we got going on. So our daily cash flow is now going to probably drop quite a bit. We've got more staff in terms of guarding, um, cooks, as well as programs that we're about to run. So we'll run... Well, we won't run guard taser. Ah, oh, sack it, we will. We'll just run it. We'll start that off. And also we want to go for some kitchen safety and hygiene. We have behavioral therapy there, solar panel development, no flower therapy, animal therapy. We're going to start that animal therapy because there was three. And also a three strikes training. I mean, that's all in. Might as well. Might as well engage, engage, engage in all of that. See if we can crack on with getting that improved. Again, increasing that grading and rating. And, ah, oh, finally, we have a prison grading. Punishment at 6, reform at 3, security at 1, health at minus 3. Yet, when I look at this, it says reoffending 38. Punishment 9 out of 10. Reform out of 9 out of 10. Work experience 1 out of 10. Security grade 4 out of 5, but it also goes to minus. So we can just say 9 out of 10. And health grade is, uh, yeah, minus 1. So 4 out of 10 or whatever. There's all of the reformed prisoners working in a construction company, a restaurant, construction company, shopping mall, shopping mall, cleaning agency, shopping mall, cleaning agency, and construction. Nice. So I don't know which grading to look at. 8% reoffending rate, no prisoners escape, 5 deaths in custody. 11 paroled early and none of them have reoffended. So that's good. Check in the tracking menu. We have that not wired up. I thought I wired that up. I did wire it up. And it is wired up. Hmm. What is missing? It's in. That one's definitely in. We can quite clearly see that. While we're on here, by the way. Flight risk. Anyone with a flight risk, we are going to track. There we go. So it's stopping there. Why? Why is the router doing that? So range is that. We can see the range. Right. So, why is it not connected? Connections. Definitely has connections. And they're going in the right direction as well. Is there a maximum number of connections? No. It says total number of connect connections is nine. Doesn't say why we can't do that. Okay, I'm going to try something. I'm going to move it to that wall there. Now, let's just check this yard out. Uh, it will be logistics, room quality. Running track of 12 squares. Yeah, so they can just run around there and trip over the advanced searchlight. Brilliant, that works. Good. Uh, how are we going to do then for the rest of it? Route has now been put in. We'll go for... I'll get the right tab eventually. Less is more. Don't just spam tabs until we find the right one. On oh, while we're on as well, phone taps. Tap those phones and those phones. And unpause it. Yeah, the tracking menu works there. How strange. Was it the orientation? I will have to keep an eye on that. Okay, quick build, custom, cloning, selecting this, and yep, you guessed it, we're building that. This one up here, this was for, like, really, uh, sort of, legendary prisoners. There, we can have a legendary prisoner. Once we've got this, we will probably do that. And I've just realised, why is this, why was this, why was this flashing all the time? Well, we've seen it before. 
and it was uh well we've seen it a couple of times before but it was noteworthy around here it's a tunnel it is a tunnel happening over here so tunnel search all sectors yep because one two three four prisoners are missing and inevitably the tunnel search is going to do nothing. Uh, green energy goal aid complete. One green energy source of each type will be delivered free of charge. Thanks. Yep, as we can see, it's not working. So we're going to dismantle that toilet. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And prioritise that. Because I don't like the idea of six prisoners escaping. Also, uh, guard response. We're going to put two guards there, because if the tunnel does come here and they just jump up out of it, I want to be able to quickly stop them. Oh, it is it is there as well. They've been, they've dug far. The dogs detected it. So this was a, a noteworthy thing as well. Um, yeah, we're definitely tracking them. Yeah, the tracking goes to the right part. That's fine. So... One of the patrol options was to bring it down here and back, and I didn't do it because... I, don't, I didn't know how it would affect it, but the dogs definitely detected that, and then, well, there's the tunnel. Strangely, not all of it. There's that tunnel, and this is the one I'm worried about. Oh! <laughs> For a start, I'm hearing, like, a siren noise. Where's that siren coming from? Where's that coming from? It's the dog. <laughs> Ooh, apparently. <laughs> uh, so there's Adam Blake. They're running away. Okay. Now it's potentially this. This. This is. Yeah, I'm gonna dismantle that toilet because I think that could. They could have a toilet there. Uh, sorry, they could have a tunnel under that toilet, is what I meant to say. So I'm going to remove it. And we'll see how we get on. No tunnel. Okay. So what I'll do, remove tunnels, get all that removed, and we'll get that prioritised. And obviously put in... We'll put the china back in. Right, that's sorted. All right. And we want what is desired. It is some more flooring. Oh, and they've messed up our lined flooring. That's the biggest crime here. Not that they tried to escape. Not that they fought after all of that. It's that they messed up the lined flooring. You don't mess with a bloke's lined flooring. You just don't do it. So, we do have some free wind solar stuff around. I'm gonna... To be honest, I'll install the wind solar hybrids. I'm just going to sell the other stuff. I have no desire or need for it, really. Not really. Just waiting for the workers to finish putting this stuff in. But obviously they've got a lot on with me ordering that. Are they going to remove it? Or are they going to put the... Stuff back in. I prioritised it. Looks like that's back in, that's back in. Yeah, that's pretty much sorted. So let's just double check then. And it'll be anyone in solitary. Mm, well, if there are, nobody wants to be a confidential informant. We've only got two confidential informants, so one must have left and or be killed. I'm pretty sure it's left. Oh, that reoffending rate has gone down. This is good. Let's just check our... Reform, health has still not gone up, but re re rate has gone down. And I believe we have, yes, John Pierce, who is currently working in here. So we have now people working in the kitchen. And all of the storage as well. That's, that's pretty good. So these are now in. This is Young. He needs freedom and luxuries. I was going to put in some windows. Glass window. Um... And go through and place them in every single area. <laughs> like, surely the frame. <laughs> the frame will reduce the visibility as opposed to the glass windows. <laughs> uh, how much would it cost us? 
Well, I got 22,000 at the moment. I think each one is about 200. So, ten, so what, two grand? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen grand for Windows. I don't know how you're going to smash a hole in. Is that a meter squared glass? <laughs> it's a tile glass. And then put it in, but, well, the fun would be in finding out. Anyway, they're working up the top there. That's fine. Let's have a quick look at our needs. Needs are pretty much all right. There is a couple of criticals, but they're being, they're being looked at. Just found a pocket watch somewhere as well, though. Where was that pocket watch? Ah, oh, it was found just on the scanner. There's a third first aid kit that was on Adam Blake. I'll be honest. As much as I'd like to build this, my priorities have sort of changed. We hadn't done shakedowns recently, but if that tracking menu... Well, it may have been there previously. I didn't didn't notice it really, to be honest. But if it was if it wasn't triggering like that, I hadn't noticed it. But as soon as we did notice it, we lit a fire under it and got it searched quickly and yeah, figure out what the deal was. It came to here. That's quick. I am tempted with electrified fencing. Twenty one grand in order to get that electrified fence. I think that's the priority. Put in electrified fence in. It's going to cost a ridiculous amount of money. But if there's any time to get it, it's now. Yeah, we're going to get more prisoners anyway. So we may as well. Let me just lock open that jail door. We... How many connections have we got? CCTV monitor is not telling me, so wiring. Brilliant. We need two more connections, and there is two available. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Ten maximum security turning up. I must confess, of all of the maximum security facilities, this one has been the probably the least violent, at least that I can recall in modern times. I have to understand that We've been doing this for so long. <laughs> There's, I probably forgot more builds than, than I remember. We've got a lot of green thumb people here. Three, four. Extremely tough, volatile. Couple of unknown traits. Nothing to really concern ourselves with. Oh, there's a cop killer. So there, that's Benjamin Palmer here. Prisoner number 24804066. Two murders. And I'm guessing one of them was a cop. They've only been in the prison two days. And there's the two things there. Well titled cop killer. Your prisoner is guilty of murdering a police officer. Your prison guards may be unable to restrain themselves when subduing them. So yes. What I'm hearing is basically... There could be a problem if they kick off. Then they are volatile as well. Which is the worst part. Do I then put them in here? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Here we go. So... This is what I mentioned previously about the the parole. So it's kicked off in parole. And luckily our guard's been stationed there. And that guy's been tasered. Wow. But the guard, Metzger, is injured and was over two-thirds damage. It also reminds me, what's their rank? You, sir, can be a specialist. Actually, while we're on it, let's go through all the ranks. Anyone that can go up ranks, we will put them up ranks. Uh, are they all becoming specialist officers? Or do I have to click OK on each one? Now I'm sure you'll be able to go through them all. There's Wick. Specialists. Senior specialists. Most of the guards have been here since pretty much day one. Hang on. We've only got 20 guards, right? There's Simmons. It is remembering it. 
No, it's not. So I'm gonna have to go through each one. Okay, for the sake of time, I've went through and checked out every single guard here just to make sure that the ranks are of the appropriate level. Let me just see if I can actually finally select a guard. There we go. So we've got uh, most of these set to specialist, but I mean, it does say there that um, only four in ten senior guards can become officers, and only one in three officers can become specialist officers. So they're all set to the highest ranking possible. Whether or not they're gonna get there, well, it's really up for debate. Anyway, over to here they are cracking on building so let's just max speed this out and wait for them to finish that off we do have a interesting bit of power running there i'm guessing that's because of oh yeah the the um the gate so that's probably what's happened there that's the electric fence so we're just going to run this in and put it to there and obviously we also have to put in some some water as well so water will go to there and then into there and then that should be all right i'm also getting some of these triggers for the belt but it shouldn't be too much of a problem it's just around here. There is another watch. Is that two watches we found in this game? I think it is. Watch there, which was smuggled in, then detected, and then for whatever reason not found until then. Uh, where was the other one? There it is there. We actually found it, as well as a hammer. At least we found it there. But if we check that out, actually, I just noticed there are, well, not much demand for weapons, which is a good thing. That's actually good because it means that the prisoners generally classed as safe and there's not a, a need for prisoners to try and arm themselves and protect themselves. Although a rolling pin is the one that people are most after. Apparently they really want to do some cooking. Um, you've also got the uh, pickaxes and ropes and not spader axes because they probably can't get those. Um, oh, also over here. Interesting. That was Andrew Lovegrove, age 31, who extremely volatile has immediately surrendered, and I'm still hearing that noise. Oh, was it just over here? Yeah, I think it was... It was, was it that? I think it might be the advanced searchlight. Yeah, I think it might have been the advanced searchlight. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, we are pretty much finished up the top here. That will bring our total capacity to 90. We're on 89 at the moment, and just this one bit to finish off. We've got this locked open. We've got the plumbing put in. We have the patrols that go all around the outside all set up. I think we will also do a bit of a shakedown tonight because, well, we haven't done one in quite some time. There is the route that's being placed as well. Now, this is, well... It's not something that should be an issue, but let's just see if that isn't the case. Uh, over to utilities. If that isn't the case, that double negative. Uh, tracking monitor will go to there. We also have the health monitor, which will go to there. Let's just double check while we're on in the tracking menu. And, yep, it is actually connected. So, once we get this one in, the only dead zone we'll have is in the middle here. So, we'll have to put a router. I'm probably just going to put it on that wall. That'll more slightly extend. Actually, no, it'll probably be on the inside of this building building which we still haven't earmarked a specific thing for it it's most likely gonna be workshop now i think that's um yeah probably what will what we'll end up doing anyway there's a bit more wiring to undertake so wiring connections will go for the cctv monitor which it says interestingly we have seven connections that's got the eight connections so where are we missing out on one two Three, four, five, six, and then seven, then eight will be there. Yeah, so that's actually fine. Okay, the big job. This is walls and doors, and we are going to spend 21,865 on just over... <laughs> just over a quarter of the electric fence. We'll do the one down here, because those are the two dangers... Really, those those are the two dangers. Um, it's currently sleep time, but quite frankly, it's far too past the time to initiate a search just yet. Yeah, yeah. Not seeing any triggers for the for the tracking belts. Just double check as well, tracking menu, and we'll go over to flight risk. There is one person who is. Indeed, flight risk. There's others that we are tracking, and I think most of them we've only tracked because they were flight risk, so now they are, well, I'm guessing not a flight risk. We do have a tough, volatile, and storkel. Uh, Scott Coombs. Ooh, we've seen a Coombs before. And we've also got a foodie here in the form of Scott Evans. Hmm, double Scott. What does it mean? There is the electric fence, which is currently not doing anything because it's not wired up. 
I'm waiting till we've got enough money to go across there. Oh, you... <laughs> Subsidence of the land has destroyed a section of the outer wall. So what I'm hearing is the section of the outer wall we've just spent <laughs> a ridiculous amount doing. Uh, emergencies, is it? Um, hmm. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. No, we don't need to reinforce it. We can just build across there. So yes, this is episode 12, I think. Six hours, 23 minutes into the game. And we put the cheapest possible option on here. We did. Cheapest option. It was the, it was the fence. Yeah, three square meters. And then once we spent 175 a tile... The game decided <laughs> subsidence. So that was that, that, that was a thing that happened. Um, <laughs> uh, prison architect. Right. Let's see if we have enough for this. We should do. We only need yeah only only thirteen thousand for that entire section. And let's see. Oh, that's actually a prisoner leaving early there. I could tell because if it flashes there, it means they are leaving out the front door. Reoffending rate has jumped down to 6% according to that, and according to our reform level, it's still at 40%. Hmm, the work experience and health hasn't changed, so we just need to do what we can on that one. And, well, let's go ahead and check out utilities, electrical cable, and this is where we have to run a lot of electrical cable. So this electrical cable has to run underneath all of the... all of the... I was going to say perimeter wall. It's not a perimeter wall. It is a electrified fence. So it requires cabling under each section. I don't know why it doesn't come with it by default. I think... Yeah, I think I would prefer it to have the wiring by default. I mean, it's a nice operation to wire it up. Like, you understand that that goes in, then the wire goes, and then you connect it. But almost everything else in the game that has the need for wiring, like fridges and the cookers and laundry machines and just everything like I say the majority of things that need a direct connection have at least that bit underneath so I don't know whether it's an oversight or whether it's just it is what it is uh, subsidence I don't know if it's a del deliberate decision but there you are oh oh that is volatile and cop killer died in a fire um okay is that the first fire that we've seen in a game that wasn't just an event and that guy's died wow and this person it doesn't say like there's a problem with there with them they haven't misbehaved we can see though we have <laughs> we have what, two of the cooks and one worker putting that fire out Luckily, the glass wall is such that they can spray through it. it. It's got that porous substance. Wow. So that is... Like I say, I think one of the first times I've seen... Not one of the first times, but it's very rare that you get... Fires. At least in my experience. Normally, they're from... Things like... An accident in a here, or something blows up, or, or whatever it happens to be. But not that. Not that. Anyway, we've put the stuff back in. It should be surrounded shortly. Um, oh, it won't be because of the rooms. So we'll have to put cells in. There you go. It's now a legitimate job done. So we fixed that problem. Just going to also do a removal of tunnels, just in case. And are we connected up to the grid? We're not connected up yet. They're still putting the rest of this in. And I have no idea how much this wall costs. Oh. There's this. Yes, it is this. It is the advanced searchlight that's making the noise. I'm not going to move people over because quite frankly there's all these guards here. Yeah, it is this thing that's making the noise. I thought it was the dog but it's it's clearly that now. <laughs> anyway, we are putting in the rest of this. We can see it. it's currently inactive. So we're going to have to do that boot up sequence from Jurassic Park for the walls. And just hopefully nobody's trying to climb it. And if they are, well... That might be a bit of a shocking experience. Two more bits here. One more bit there. And... There it is. 
So there is the electrified fence. All electrified to the end. Yep. And then down. Haven't done that bit there, so there's a little bit left. What I'll do then, just to make sure that we have got connections, I'll put it on both sides. Because if it gets severed... Why is the bits triggered along there? Is this not classed as staff only anymore? It won't be. Okay. Fix now. That's not ideal. So I think people have went to gather some stuff, so we'll have to do a... We'll probably have to do a shakedown. But looks like the rest of this is pretty much fine. Yep, I think that all the wires in, and it seems to be working. Okay, we are going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect too. This guy here, we see this line there. I think that's the first time I've seen that as well. That's basically saying there's a problem, and that's probably the drugs. That's probably an overdose, and that's what the game is alerting us to. It doesn't say substance abuse there. So it just says found drugs. Hmm. Let's have a look at uh, recent... It is in pr prison. Found weapons, found drugs. Yeah, I just found drugs there. Mm, doesn't really say. But it's probably that. And that's because of the health mod that's giving us that. Which is pretty good. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Next time, we definitely want to do a shakedown. First part of the episode, we'll do a shakedown. See what's going on. Make sure we've got enough uh, staff for what we're doing. Not just in terms of cooks, but also in terms of the, you know, the, the well, all of the staff. So, enough dog handlers. Enough, enough staff members for... Um, well, just, yeah. Oh, they're doing, they're doing training. Yes, they are. Yeah, for for just the guards and all the different types and stuff. And we may even look at perhaps putting in some armed guards. And, well, at the moment, I think we're going to spend a bit on tax relief. And we're going to pick up guard towers. And because we can, permanent punishments. But we do need a lawyer. So, let's hire a lawyer. There we go. <laughs> That's the lawyer there. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.